How's it going today, Bob? We're in orbit of Mars. Duna. Ike is somewhere over there. There's Ike. Almost a, almost a solar eclipse. I decided to cut out the whole bringing this thing to Duna because you've kind of seen it before. Also, if the video is a little laggy, I apologize. It's probably because of that. Really, not much I'm gonna do about it. Wait, what the hell is... Oh, it's just stuff that's... Whatever, whatever, whatever. Just pointing out that we now have... Oh, well over a hundred pieces of debris out there and a bunch of probes to boot. So... Gets a little laggy. I apologize. So we're here, and before I land, I'm going to illustrate my plan for leaving. This thing doesn't have a lot of fuel left, if you can't tell. Honestly, it has plenty, but probably not enough to get us back home, maybe enough to get us about half of the way. That being said, there's another lander over there with fuel in it. So, what are we going to do about that? Well, we're probably going to either bring this to Ike or bring that to this. Dock these two together, transfer all the fuel to this one or that one, doesn't really matter. And then take this guy home, because once he gets back up here, he's going to be loaded with science. And science is more important than Bill. I'm guessing that's who's over there. It's probably not Bill. Oh. Oh, my face. Was that the atmosphere? It is. Okay. Well, we are going to bring our lander. We're in an about 100 by 100, but not really, because I couldn't fudge it right. Orbit. I'm going to undock the lander. Like so. I'm going to turn on the engines. That didn't work. Alright, let's try that again. Like so. I'm going to get away. Like so. And now we will probably make another orbit. Because I don't want to land on the dark side of Duna. Let's go around. Because this isn't biome, there's really no particular place I want to land. I'd rather land there, because it's flattish. Although I could always do the same thing. I'm going to do it here, as a matter of fact. And we're close to the periapsis, so it should be much easier that way. I'm going to start slowing us down. I'm going to make a quick save first, just in case. Because we all know how my Ike landings went last week. To be fair though, I had a faulty lander. If you noticed on this one, you may not have had a good chance to see it, but on this one I cut off that extra fuel tank because, to be honest, we don't really need it, do we? I know this thing. I have a duplicate of this on another save and it has successfully landed on Duna and taken back off and gotten into orbit and gotten most of the way home with a similar busser as well. Actually, what's funny is the quote, similar busser didn't have nuclear engines on it. It had, I think, a poodle. Uh, it either had a poodle or it had three LV-909s. One of the, one of those. Alright, that's good enough. 
No, it's not. Bring it in a little more. Well, we're not going to overshoot it, if that's what I'm worried about. Alright, well, I'm just going to time accelerate until we are in the atmosphere. I'm going to put us straight up, actually. We don't have to worry about, you know, dead death by re-entry right now, so... I believe the atmosphere starts at around 45, or thereabouts. Nope. Okay, 41. We are going to deploy the parachutes early, just so that we don't ever screw it up. We're going to turn on landing gear, so that we don't ever screw that up. And I'm going to try to get us to come in vertically. If this doesn't work, like if, I mean, not if I slam into the ground, because that can happen and I won't be too upset. Because it's not uncommon for me to do that. <clears throat> Last episode. Last episode there wasn't any catastrophic failures, though. You know, I'm just gonna let the parachute slow me down. I'm gonna try and keep my speed even. Just kidding, no, I'm not. I really need to start slowing this down. Do the parachutes ever fully deploy on Duna? I'm not sure if there's an atmosphere for that. Parachutes should be popping, though, pretty soon. I primed them right. There we are. Ah, uh, that's an issue. That's the ground. Where's our shadow? You know what I didn't do with the, that was kind of stupid? I didn't arrow break to, to get my orbit. I mean, I guess when I want to leave something in a stable orbit, it's not the highest priority to arrow break. But it would have saved me some fuel. And saving fuel is kind of a priority when you want to get home. Although the thing I really don't want to do is accidentally speed up too much. I, I'm not sure if I've told you guys this story, but it was... I almost just did it. I'm telling you, I almost just did it. I've broken parachutes by speeding up too much while coming down. Uh, you know what, I think we're gonna be fine. These, these... I've never tested the rover with these... The lander. Rover? Lander with these four parachutes, and it seems to be doing just dandy. I, I didn't even need to burn fuel on the way, way down, I guess. But you did see the fact that, um... I don't have to worry about the whole coming in too hot. Oh, sorry. Not that issue. The other issue, which is not being able to get off the ground. I didn't have to worry about that issue because I can very easily lift off with this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Okay. Nailed it. Let's just extend our ladders. And we are going to walk on Duna today. This is what, the third try? Hold on, let me do an, a crew report. <laughs> okay, that's kind of a random thought from Bob Kerman. 40 science. By the way, we did have enough science to unlock something uh, last time, and I didn't. And I'm... I, it's because I don't quite know what to... Ah, uh, the slider doesn't work, really. Oh well. Maybe it'll work on the way up. Don't want to test that out right now, though. We're kind of crooked, but I've almost never landed straight up. Not with this thing. Unless it's like on the lake beds of... Um, let's plant a flag right here. No need to go a long distance to do it. Unless on the lake beds of... Why is my mic's input volume so low right now? I don't understand what's going on. I just looked up and noticed that it was at half. It's normally at 0.9 instead of 0.5. Sorry if I'm a little quiet then. Site name. 
That's not the third. Third times the char. We have not we. There we go. All right. Let's take a surface sample. Huh. I feel like that's happened. In an EVA report, Dunas Low Gravity would lend itself to an exciting game of basketball. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll let you add that. Can I fly? <gasps> I can fly. I didn't realize I could fly on Duna. Oh well, it's not that important. I'll let you add that hoop next time you design the ro next time you design the lander, which will be never. Let's get back in. Let's do some scientific testing with our testing apparatus. Ah, it works on the way up. That's the important part. Oh, come on. No, that's not good. Come on, you can do it. Don't get stuck in the lander. Why did I just do that? Not that. No, 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 no. Oh. Get out, fall to the ground, turn, go to Ragdoll. Now let's get back up there. I need to improve my ladder design for the next lander. I think I have a couple of ideas. At least this part works going up, but this isn't the part I'm worried about anymore. Alright, stand up. Get up, stand up. Not R. Didn't mean, didn't mean to hit R. For goodness sake. One of these days you're gonna get stuck in there, and then I'm gonna be upset. Because then we'll have to have somebody rescue you. I'm not too keen on rescue operations. Alright, let's... Alright, this time we're using the jetpack. Alright, that was way too difficult. Let's, um... Oh, right. Science. Observe materials bay. 200 science. Not transmit, that'd be a waste. Observing the mystery goo. I normally do two, so keep data there. Keep the data there. Like that. Take a little screeny. Okay, I just took a screenshot with both Bandicam and Steam at the same time because they're set to the same thing. Let's take a temperature. What is the temperature? Negative 30 Celsius. Great, that's a nice temperature. Toggle display. Log pressure data. You don't say. Alright, so what, should we like stay a day here or should we try and lift off again already? Where's our... Oh, wait, hold on. Click. He's over there. He's coming around this way. So he should be there before I try to lift off. Let's make a quick save. How long have we been going? I actually don't have a way to tell. Oh, about 15 minutes. Feels longer, probably because I'm tired. Oh well, woe is me. Now let's see if we can get off this rock. Hold on, one more thing.
Good. Board. And in three, two, one. Wait, ladders. Put up the ladders. Should have put them on a. Should have mapped them to a hotkey, but I didn't. Okay, take two. After the ladder folds away, two, one, launch. Told you I could get off the surface. Now it's the tricky part getting into orbit. This was the third time, right? There was the Space Kraken attack, there's the one that stuck at Ike, and it's this one. Yeah, okay, just wanted to make sure. I don't want to screw that up, that'd be kind of embarrassing. Look at that, plenty of fuel. I love this lander. Like, seriously, this is a good lander for anything, um, Duna size and smaller. It has plenty of fuel. You got plenty of room for additions like parach a second set of parachutes if it has an atmosphere. It's probably worked great on lathe. Never thought of bringing it, bringing it to lathe. I, it would probably take a serious rocket to get it here, though. Because so much of our fuel was expended just kind of getting here, pretty much. Because the only issue with this is it's incredibly heavy. I mean, I'm sure it's not on par with whatever the, the super heavy lander that the game is, that the game has, like, on its own, it has a super heavy lander. I'm sure this isn't on par with that, but um, I know it's pretty heavy when it's full. There's a lot of fuel on this thing, and a lot of random scientific instruments. Are we out of the atmosphere yet? Come on. That should be good. Alright, so we're going to boost up into an orbit, and then we're going to have the, um, buster come and intercept us. And then we're going to go to Ike. Not to do science, but to get fuel. Get gas at Ike. I have a bad feeling that I just sent this in the wrong direct- yeah, I did. Okay, that's an issue. Okay, well, new plan. That's fine. New plan. Let's get out the... the busser. Switch two. We're gonna take this to Ike. Make a handy dandy little quick save beforehand so I don't screw this up. Now, the guy that's going around Ike what direction is he going in? Is he in like a geosynchronous? But he's going that way. I need to meet Ike and go that way. Which means I need to pass around the back side. Don't know where the... Like, where is Ike? To be honest, don't like Ike. You know, I I probably said I like Ike in the last video, so that joke might be redundant. If it is, I'm sorry. Oh, that's the problem. Get down, get down, get down. I feel like I'm talking to a dog. Get down. Other way. Turn this way. Set the thing as a target. We've got to do this at an ascending or descending node or it's going to screw everything up. Not the f no, I want to make a... Add maneuver. Good. Wrong way. Put it this way.
turn this around. Ah! Ike encounter. So it'll be going this way. I think that's right. At what altitude is this guy orbiting? Oh, come on. Let's try and get it around there, thereabouts. Nope, that's too close. That's too far. That's... I If that was just right, I'd be really... That's perfect. Alright, so... Plane is good. Which way are we going here? We're going around, right? Yeah, we're going the other way. Alright, alright. So let's get this guy lined up. Shouldn't be a very long burn. This ship by itself is pretty light. Especially when we're almost out of fuel. But we're gonna have to pull, pull some fancy shenanigans with the other one. Yeah, I'm dumb. I left that guy orbiting in the wrong direction. Should have remembered. Oh well, didn't. Now we've got a chance to take this thing to Ike and then come back. Or maybe I can just take this to Ike with it? I wonder how efficient that would be if I flew them both separately because. I mean, coming back here might be a waste of fuel. Although, with the nuclear engines, it won't be a waste of much. Whatever. Oh, they're in a, like, polar orbit. Wait a minute. You know what, I'll fix that later. Let's just get... That's why it was confusing me. There's like 30 seconds of burn just to do this. Yeah, we have 30 seconds worth of fuel, but... Ugh. How hard is it for me to just ask myself to make it easy one of these days? Instead of putting my guys in a stupid polar orbit. I just, I made it, I make it too hard for myself. Alright, polar orbit, fixing, maneuver, engaged. Do it here. Yeah, it's a lot of Delta V. Come on, what are you doing? So we've got to go from the bottom. Alright, well, switch back to this guy and get him into a polar orbit instead. Switch to... I know how to use maneuvering nodes, but not that well. Polar orbit time. Not sure how close that is going to be to, uh, 
the other one to the other orbit that's in there, but it'll be closer. They're both relatively polar. I curse myself for making things so difficult. Hold on. Just make sure that I'm controlling from here. So I'm not firing in the wrong direction. I know that would have screwed me up already once, but... So 61... Alright. Okay, we can wait a little longer. Oh, by the way, I will note, one of the little changes I made to this rocket was putting solar panels on the bottom. If you recall, we had an issue with that earlier. Or not with that, just involving not having solar panels on the bottom. All those solar panels were on the top of both vehicles, and wow, that is an orbit. Although, my original guesstimates for, for coming into a Duna orbit were much farther away than that. That apoapsis there. Not even close. Okay, then. Well, let's cut this down to size. That's a little too much. Wrong way. This way. Am I ever going to get the hang of those particular maneuvering nodes? Nope, probably not. Really a minute of burn to do that? That's ridiculous. Forty-five seconds of burn? Hope this is worth it. I guess it is, honestly. There's probably more fuel in there than, like, the 300 units that we used to get out here. 45 times 3. Mm -hmm. 135. So we're going to use 135 units of liquid fuel doing this. Man, coming into polar orbits like that is a pain in the neck. I'm just going to come back and dock with this thing, because... I'm going to come out of this polar orbit all wonky. But the point, the fact of the matter is, if we get any amount of fuel that's more than, like, 200 units out of this ship. It'll be more than worth it. Alright, and note to self for the future, don't put things in polar orbits anymore. What's wrong with you? You're going to want to dock with them later. I'm just gonna go around some, you know, just wait a few years. You know, Kurt brought up something, Kurt J. Mack brought up something, and I'm not saying that like he said it in passing to me. In one of, in one of his videos, he noted that you should be able to rewind time warp, and I mean, it sounds like a ridiculous concept, but I think if it does it like this, where it's just the amount of time since you've undocked from something or whatever, That'd be, that'd be great. Because how many times have you... How many times have you gone past a burn by accident? I know I've done that plenty of times on camera alone. My first Eve trip ever 
had me doing that. I went by a burn like four times in a row, and it was a big burn. It was a get from solar orbit to eve orbit burn. That's what it was. And that sucked. Like, that was... That hurt, like, physically. And, I mean, since then I've learned quite a bit. Not only about the game, but just to pace myself and not be stupid. But still, I mean, missing a burn is tough. It, it can be really annoying and really frustrating. I need to make him a burn over here to intercept him or else I'm going to miss him. Wrong way. I was going to say this would be the first time I've docked anything outside of Kerbin orbit, but that'd be a lie. Not only because I've docked the, the busser and the lander together, just all over the place, but because of the fact that I once had to go save Jebediah Kerman, who was currently, well, at that point he was in solar orbit, and I had to go get him, which he is right now, uh, on this save as well. Although, it's not exactly as feasible as when I did it then, when I did it then he actually had a docking port. It's not one of those things where I'd have to go jump to him and have him EVA over to me. But I'm gonna have to do that at some point too. As odd as, it, as, odd as that is, I will have to do that. Because I don't believe in terminating flights, even if it's debris. I don't terminate flights, I only recover them, I let planets clean their their systems. Like, if, if something makes a mess, like the Kraken attack did, I'm gonna wait until Kerbin clears out some of that debris. Actually, I was watching to see if any funny stuff happened when Kerbin reached that point in its orbit, but apparently it's not. The debris isn't quite lined up. Yet. It also occurred to me that with Jebediah Kerbin and just the capsule, I could get out and push. Uh, it's, we still have this version where getting out and pushing is a legitimate thing. So that, that'd be completely feasible, although I wouldn't really want to do that. Mostly because it's annoying. But secondly, because it's kind of cheap. When I can just send something up to rescue it, it's much better to send something up to rescue it. How close are we to this thing? Close? Very close. Hello, Bell? I'm... Bell. Bull. I'm Bull. Look how easy we can nudge this thing up to speed. With the... With the lander on it, it would take 20... Uh, not 20. It would take full throttle to do that in that amount of time. Probably even wouldn't do that much. We're gonna cancel our momentum once we get into 500. Not cancel our momentum, but cancel our relative velocities. Let me start turning to do that. I know we're drifting, like, to the side, so we're not going to hit each other, and that's not particularly what I'm worried about, but what needs to be done, nope, I, I did it too much, too much. You know, I should just be using RCS, it has a much lower specific impulse. Whoa, 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 alright. H. Also, it's a lot more fine-tunable. Alright, what needs to be done? You guys with the science capsules, you need to go away. I'm sorry. But... Oh, something just occurred to me. 
Oh, that kinda sucks. This guy doesn't have any RCS anymore. Oh well, sorry. Gotta, uh, gotta let you go for now. Wrong ship. Wrong ship! Control from here. This kinda looks familiar. Alright, we have so much fuel in this. And we're gonna actually reattach these when we're done. Or are we? Can we just slam this into the moon? For the lulls, I want to slam this thing into the moon when we're done with this. So that we have an explosion this episode, because we all know explosions are great. So that's our target. Let's turn towards our target now. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. This way. Away we go. Go. We're gonna use RCS all the way. Because, you know, double rainbow all the way across the sky. I'm a little overtired. But somehow I'm managing to competently play Kerbal Space Program. Maybe I should do it at 11.30 more often. 11.30, 10.30. I can't read either. Just bring it on, bring it on in. Bring it on in, buddy. I love you, man. So we've got to start canceling out this velocity pretty soon because we're going to start drifting away from each other. Who has less RCS? Not like as a competition. But I want to know who's to use up. I mean, frankly, these guys have way too much RCS on them. Look at all those monoprop tanks. I mean, I never thought I'd be doing these kind of maneuvers with them. Maybe it's warranted when I am. But still. Like, this, this is a lot of monopropellant. I think originally they start out with what? 1200 units? Yeah. That's ridiculous. So what should we do with this guy? Should we just slam it into the ground? I mean, I'm gonna do it and you guys can tell me what kind of dumb stuff that was. But the Honestly, the ideal thing would be to just send another busser on its own to come and get, uh, whatever his face is over there. Or, alternatively, send a multi-person capsule. I mean, a multi-purpose mission would be kind of tough to pull off if we got Jebediah and whoever's in that capsule. I wasn't paying attention. In one go, it would be kind of tough to pull off. Or we could just send something like a an orbit module. We're not quite at the stage of the game where I want to be doing orbit modules. Do we have lights? We do. Holy cow, it's bright. And that is not the right buttons. Too much lights. Let's just spin around to this side where we have the sun's light. By the way, earlier today, I probably should have been recording when I did this, but when I was bringing up the new bell, which should have been named something different, honestly, I don't like to have multiple ships of the same name out at once. It's kind of a new thing I thought up while I was on the way here, but it kind of defeats the purpose of naming them. Or keeping around earlier iterations. I normally save an iteration, an iteration if it makes it off the launch pad. If it makes it into orbit, then it's it's good. It's in my record books. But the bell iterations have just kind of been overwritten and overwritten. The bundler iterations too. Oh, 
Oh, oh, come on, come on. Doc. Doc. Kiss. Yeah. Alright, so... Which one's ours? I don't suppose it matters. But either way... Oh, stop. Out. Out. In. In. Out. Out. Are these four empty? Now? Oh, let me click on the darn thing. I can see it. By the way, how are we going to crash this into the ground now that it doesn't have any fuel in it? Hold on, let me transfer all this fuel. That's some quick fuel transfer. And we can see the mass shifting. You know, something I just realized that's kind of funny and unusual. I'm going to quick save for this. Now that we're done with this. But, something that just occurred to me is all these, if I fired engines right now, if I turn on the throttle, I'm not going to because it would waste fuel. I mean, I quick save so that I could do it without wasting fuel, but I care too much. And I don't feel like quick loading. By the way, next time we're here, we're going to finish up the, the Bell Saga and take him home. That includes picking him up, picking him up from Kermit. Which one is ours? Alright, this one's ours. That one's theirs. That's why sh they should have different names. And actually, these two are completely identical, except for the solar panels on the bottom. So I guess that's how we could tell. And I'm tempted to transfer monopropellant, but I'm just too lazy. Something I'm wondering is... We can transfer battery power. That's kind of cool. Well, I'm going to send a final transmission. Can we make a crew report with one of these? No, we can't. They should have them, like, beep boop bop is the crew report. Well, it's time to slam this into the moon. Also, because I want one less piece of space debris. Undock. And I did state earlier that explosions are fun. Wrong way, wrong way. That's prograde. Now we need to get out of this guy's way. And fire full engines. <laughs> Look at those engines, people. What is the minimum orbit speed for this? We're going to find out. But that is going down rather quick. All of the hills on Ike. You know, that should do us plenty good. We're in the ground, basically. Hopefully this becomes entertaining, because I don't, you know, I don't want to have a just random slams into the ground moment. I want to have a ah, moment. Holy cow, that was close. We should have done that one. If we had brought her down just a little more, we would have hit the ground there. At 50 time acceleration. Speaking of hitting the ground... I can save this! Uh... Did we just pop the planet? No, we didn't. Okay, that was bad. Okay, where are those guys going? Kinda wanna know now. 
close that. Alright, well, it's all coming back. Let's pick one. Random one. Oh, I can't switch two? Alright, let's go to Space Center. And let's grab one of those pieces of debris, switch to it, and watch it come up and come back down. Because again, explosions are fun, I'm sleepy, and that makes it even more entertaining. Alright, so let's go in here, scroll down to the bottom. Fly! I don't know which one this is, but we're gonna fly this one. Oh, this is the best one! Oh, this is great. Look at him, look at that. We made a constellation today, people. How beautiful. Can't turn RCS off either. This guy's kind of the ringleader over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow that down. I want to see... Yeah, is this is the one that's going above all the other ones? It is. Ooh, we're gonna... I don't, I don't like this one, then. Alright, switch to this one. I don't I have no idea which one I clicked on, but we're switching to this one. Oh, fuel tank. I always wanted a fuel tank with some rivets on it. Alright, which one is this one? Do we get to watch other ones hit the ground? We do. Alright, which one are we paired with? That one's pretty close to us. Oh, that one's gone. Are we gonna actually get to watch that one hit the ground, or are we just gonna kind of hit the ground near it? Nah, it's drifting away from us. We're not gonna be able to see it, probably. It's about to go outside of the load distance anyways. I can only, uh, I think it just deloaded. It's just kind of a dot now. Oh well. It's going to go, oh, no! Oh, we heard it! Oh, fantastic. Whee! See, that's how you get rid of a derelict. You slam it into a moon. Alright. Close this, actually. Right, we've still got pieces out there, but I don't care too much anymore. Alright, let's, um... Actually, we're done for today, so I'm just going to head back to the Space Center. And you guys can enjoy the sum total of work that we did this this day. This day, uh, this day is Thursday. Uh, to you guys it is. Shh. It's definitely Thursday. Just going to come in here and look at the... Uh... The pile of debris, once again. 136 pieces of debris. Surprisingly, quite a few of them are orbiting Kerbin. Didn't actually expect that too much. That piece of Halloween is still there. So we have all this probe debris. I know quite a, quite a lot of this, if it were to intercept Kerbin anyways, it'd be kind of... You wouldn't be able to tell. I'm, I'm sure a couple of these did, because they're kind of in wonky orbits compared to the rest of them. But you wouldn't be able to tell unless it did something really drastic. But that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for something to go, like, over there. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And that's our ring of debris. Train man out.